Okay, so, um, hey guys, this is going to be actually a really long video, and I do apologize. I'm going to go through my final scrapbook, and then I'm going to add on to how I um, put this together, just a little tutorial, and I'm sorry it is long. This was requested by many of people, but I'm going to show it again now. That way, if you don't want to watch um, this video, it'll probably be 20 minutes long or over. Uh, you can just kind of see how I did it and then just click off if you want to. So this is the little mini album that I made. Um, I am going to add a skeleton hand with like a gem underneath. Um, but I'm not going to be able to put that on until I get my Halloween decorations out. And I wanted to have this up a little bit before um, so in case anybody wanted to make them. Um, so the front of the cover is not completely done. But I had this bracelet and I took the skulls off and I just added that and I'm going to have a little lock and I actually have this little metal thing that's going to come here, picture frame, and then I'm going to have the skull hand right here at the gem. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. Uh, this is what my binding looks like. I just kind of put little, like, little puff balls, um, a little key, uh, another little skeleton head, and then just a gem. And then just a couple, this was an old earring. And I might add some more tassels and um, some yarn and things like that. Um, just a uh, spider web. I just have a spider here and it says night. And then this flower I picked apart and I added just a little, um, one of those puff things again. So this is the front of it. Um, I normally use them as closures and kind of close it. This one's really thick so I'm just going to have to sit it like this on my bookcase, um, which I don't mind pretty thick books, but this is really thick. So um, real quick, as I show this a couple times in the video, I just have um, some eyes that I put spiders, so it kind of looks like eyelashes. Okay. And all these pockets right here pull out, so this page pretty plain. Um, I have little pockets here. Sticker it says Halloween, this one comes out. This one comes out as well, a little tag, and then all these come out. I'm just going to put a picture here. This page just comes out, and I just put a little paper clip with a spider. This is just a tag. Um, this one, a couple tags come out. These are all tags. Put a little tree and a leaf and things like that. Another tag that I just had like a pool string on. Another simple page. I try to keep a lot of pages open for pictures. Um, another little pull out tag there. Another plane. Um, this one is the pumpkin carving one. And then it pulls out and then I have like a trifold for pictures. That's what killed it. That's what made my album so thick. Um, just kind of scary, I guess, um, photo frame thing. Little skeleton thing there. I'm running out of memory. I just put some buttons here. And again, all these tags pull out for journaling or whatever. This is like mesh netting. And then I just did that little mummy. On the back, I just put a sticker that said mummy. <laughs> the candy page. This comes off as well. I just attached it with a little clip. But like I said, this one is very thick. And if you don't like um, thick albums, then you, know, you can um, watch what you glue down and just use kind of like more flat stickers. So if you want to know how I did this, definitely stay tuned and I'll put it up right now. I just put a little safety pin through this page and I put um, some gems and things like that. And then there's the back of my book with my spiders. And hopefully you guys liked it. This was definitely by request. And um, here's the tutorial now and I do apologize again. It is very long. But um, hopefully you guys are creative. And um, again, the front page isn't done. But... Um, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll post a picture on Twitter of what it looks like after I finish it completely. So thanks for watching, and here's I got this actually at the dollar store, and it's just this cheap, ugly little um, paper.
papered book. They said it's a photo album, but I don't know really how you would put pictures in here. It's just um, cardstock and um, just kind of like a felt almost paper all the way through it. So um, what I do is I take my paper and you can measure just one piece. And some of these pieces, like I don't know if you can tell, are not matching just because it's cheap and from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to trim these all down. And what I do is take a paper, fold it over, and then I'm going to trace my stencil. And then I can cut, count how many um, pages are in here and how many different um, paper um, pages that I'm going to need. So um, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of an edge and you can always trim them down later. My templates are going to be. And I'm just going to cut that out of this paper and I'm going to go through some of my paper that um, I want to add in this book. And you're going to need to count and see how many um, pages that you're going to want to make, you know, your scrapbook. So I'm going to do that. I'll cut all my paper and I'll be right back. Okay, so I already cut some of my paper. I'm going to need um, more paper, but um, this is just going to get me started for right now. Um, just so I can pick kind of like a theme, I guess, on how I'm going to do the different color schemes and things like that. So, um, first off, we start with the first page. And I think I'm going to go with just the skulls on the first page. And this one I'm going to actually make into a pocket. So what I'm going to do is grab my glue stick, which I normally use other glue, but I'm out right now. And I'm just going to glue the bottom and just the sides because I'm going to make it a pocket for a tag. Just glue that down, push it back, I'm going to go with the purple next, and I'm going to glue this one solid. Okay, so I'm going to trim this one actually down because these paper um, are a little bit off, so I'm just going to take my scissors and just kind of trim them both down. Okay, and I already um, started actually just a little tag and um, since we didn't glue that down completely there's a little opening actually right there and that's where I'm going to be putting um, my tags. So it looks like that. So far, nothing special. I'm going to um, finish gluing some other pages and I'll show you my progress. Okay, so I finished covering um, all my pages in paper and I just have these little um, scrap pieces of paper in for um, my tags, for, to insert my tags. So um, this is what it looks like so far. Just covered um, it with random paper. I didn't use any really collection paper, just um, you know, ones that I had. Good many pages. I think there's um, 33 total. So it's a pretty big mini album. And I will get asked, I know, a lot on how long this took me. Um, if I would have used my Cricut to cut out all the paper, um, it would have um, done a little bit faster. But this took me probably about 35 minutes um, to cut everything and glue it down. So it wasn't really that time consuming. Um, what takes time is pretty much the cover and just kind of decorate it and get your idea um, going. So I have actually these tags that I got um, from Michaels and they were just punch out tags like on a um, big sheet of paper so I thought they looked kind of Halloweenish they were actually graduation ones but um, I have these and I just I'm gonna cover them actually with 
different Halloween paper and I'm going to use these as tags as well. And I have some tags that I already had pre-cut and I'm going to poke some holes in them and add some ribbon and things like that. I also did one of these googly eyes and this is going to be in the pocket and it looks like this and then on the back I put a spider but it's kind of like for the eyelashes so I'm going to do a pocket and kind of put um, three of those actually together so um, that's an idea I just have a whole bunch of um, some spiders different um, stickers and things like that um, I have one of these punchers that I'm going to use for some tags and I'm just going to cut some like I did this one and just kind of decorate them and fix them up so I'm just going to um, do that and I'll kind of cut back and show you how I'm decorating everything um, as I go and I'm just going to lay it on the back here and just kind of cut it and trace it out um, just for my inserts for my tags And then I will also um, do the back as well. So when you insert them, you can um, kind of see them sticking out like that. So I'm going to do that. Um, I think I have a good bit of tags, actually. So I'm going to do my tags, and then I'll show you how I decorate so some I of those. some of my tags. And, well, actually all of them. I think I had um, 10 or 13. So it took me about 10 minutes. And... Um, I just use the templates and then um, glued paper to each back so you can um, use it for journaling or pictures or whatever. This one's just for journaling. So it's pretty much just the same paper that I did use um, through all of them and um, made a whole bunch of tags. Um, the fun part, I think, is decorating them. Once you get everything cut and um, going, it does go pretty fast. It's the decorating, I think, that takes time. So, um, 10 minutes for this, 35 minutes um, for me to glue all my pages together. I made some um, photo mats and things like that. I'm going to make a couple more. Just put those journaling um, punch outs that I had and um, glued them on back of just random paper. and then just some photo mats. Um, I'm going to get some of my stickers and everything out. Okay, so I got these rings actually at the Dollar Tree. Um, there's 50 in here, so there's a ton. Um, I'm just going to take actually maybe two, and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the ring part off so I can glue it. Just like that. And I think I'm going to um, hot glue them on this tag. Maybe two of them in each corner. Okay, so I moved up here because I thought you could see maybe a little bit better um, instead of my black carpet. But I made um, my photo mats. And I might add on to them as I put them in my book. But I just put two spiders on this. Just a little pumpkin on there. And then the journalings on the back. Same thing with this one. Sometimes I just put a little... Um, I don't know, it's like a shiny bat on the back of there. Sometimes I end up putting too much decoration on and not enough room for pictures. Um, this one I just stuck these plastic spiders on. And it says Goosebumps. And then I just put a spider with googly eyes on there. It says Witching Hour. And the back looks like that. This one I kept pretty plain. I did a little pool thing on it. This one I kept plain as well. But just put some more of those bats on there. Little skull with googly eyes. It says fright. And um, I just put a little orange flower with a little gem in the middle. This one I just cut a little ghost out and drew eyes and a mouth on it. Same thing with the front. And it says scream. This one's probably my favorite. has a little black crow. And then I just hot glued a um, black leaf on there. This one's cute too. has a little 
put googly eyes on there. I just cut the skulls out from, um, sorry, this paper and glued them on there. This one just cut out a witch hat. Little pumpkin. Crows. And then pumpkins. I have like four little pumpkins and I have a picture of um, me, my husband, and my two kids. So that'll go right there probably. This one. And um, I glued this on there. Just a little it was actually like a little bead, little tombstone, and then just this little black cat one. And I just put a stamp down here, and I put fun on the back with another cat right there. Um, I'm going to put these in my book, and I'll show you what they look like, and I'll start decorating. So this is what my book like looks like so far. Um, if you don't like a thick, chunky book like um, I normally make, um, definitely don't do as many tags, and you can watch what you glue down. Just stick to stickers rather than um, three-dimensional big stuff that I normally glue down. But I kind of like um, chunky books, I guess. Um, so these are all my tags, and I'll just flip through them because you just seen the tags. What that side looks like a little pumpkin one and then the witch's hat oh I um, did a safety pin and I just glued one of them plastic spiders and there's my big leaf and then that's what that side looks like my bird just the beaded one And I was surprised, um, I didn't really measure when I glued um, to make space for the tags. So all of them fit actually except one I'm going to have to re-glue. Oops. There's the witch one. Just a black cat. Sorry I'm like out of frame, I'm zoomed in and it's hard. This one just says fun. The little cat. Little ghost. And then this little ghost. These ones don't have any. The spider tag. And then just the googly eye spider. Tombstone. Just the tag. This is the bat one. And then just the spider web. And this is the last page. Um, and this tag is obviously... Um, too big and it's hanging out too far so I'm going to have to rip this page apart and then re-glue um, to make space for the tag but that's what it'll look like so I'm going to get started with my pages now I'll show you a few things that I do and then we'll do the cover and um, the tags I guess took me probably about 45 minutes to an hour so I'm just gluing down buttons didn't have a design before I went into this. I'm just kind of doing it as I go. I kind of do better when I don't plan stuff out. I made this little tag and I cut one of those little pom-pom things off and I glued um, googly eyes on it. But the pom-pom thing's kind of falling apart so I'm not sure um, how that's going to hold up. And then I made this little tag thing. I had a clear tag thing that I got and I just um, glued some ribbon on there. And then I have a tree and a leaf. They were buttons and I just kind of made them into tags. Just made that. I just put this um, photo mat right here and I just made just a little simple gemmed one. And then I stuck um, three, these three tags here, and I held them together with um, just some leather and some buttons. I 
just stuck little bats on here. I jump around from page to page. There's my buttons that I just did. I just put some flowers right there. And now I made this little skeleton tag. It was just a button and then I cut the back off. So I'm not sure where I'm going to stick him. Okay, so I'm going to try to make a little mummy actually for my page. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I just cut like this, I guess, out of um, cardstock. I'm just going to trim it out. Then I was thinking about putting them in this. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut this bag apart. Then I'm going to hot glue this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I glued this down and now I'm just going to take some ribbon and I'm going to cut it rather long. And I'm just going to start wrapping. I'm going to hot glue um, this little piece down and then I'll start wrapping. Okay, so I glued that. I have glue sticking in my finger, but I'm just going to wrap this. And I've never done this before at all. So this is completely new. Hopefully, guys, I'm in frame. Just going to wrap it around. Okay, then I'm going to just cut the string, this excess string. And it looks like that so far. I'm going to trim down here on the edges. And then I'm going to add some googly eyes. I don't know if this looks like a mummy or not, but I tried. Okay, so I guess that's my mummy. I might add a couple other things um, to it, but so far that's what I have. Okay, so now I'm doing the front cover and I just cut some sparkly purple paper and I'm going to kind of glue it, I think, here. And then I have this eyeball paper that I'm going to stick here and kind of make it into a pocket. And then I have my eyes with my spiders on the back and I'm just going to sit those there for the front cover. Um, I did a couple other pages as well. I did this one and it just says spooky and it has um, two little birds on it and then the pull out um, for the journaling. And then I think this is one of my favorite pages. It's just like, I'm going to get little um, oh, clips, you know what I mean? Like they're hanging out on a line and then just party and then I'm going to have a picture of our Halloween party that we had on both of these pages. So I'm going to finish this up. I know this video is long. I apologize. I'm going to do all the pages and I'll show you the completed album and then I think I'm going to do the cover actually in a different um, video but I'll upload it first and then I'll have the book um, uploaded last. So far I've been working on this for I would say maybe eight hours off and on. I haven't worked on it solid just you know as I have time I just kind of or an idea. I just kind of 
go at it when I can. So I'm going to do that, and I will be back, hopefully, with the finished product, and then we'll work on the and cover. And we'll, you know, make the bind go down a little bit. It's not going to be that thick, but it is a pretty thick book. Um, so this one, front cover, has just the eyes, again, with the spiders. This page I left pretty much blank just for a picture. You guys already seen the tags, um, little tags here. And I thought I would um, put each kid's favorite candy wrapper on these tags and kind of put their name or whatever on the back. So I had at least in mind for that. Another pull-out tag here. Just a plain page. This one um, tag comes out as well. Another plain page. This one um, comes off the paper clip. This one and has two tags that come out. This one I just put kind of corner stickers on. Just another simple page. Just put a bat there. I might add a couple more things here and there, but um, not right now. Then yeah. this one is the pumpkin carving one. I have a bunch of pictures of us carving pumpkins and then you open it up and then there's a whole bunch of places for pictures and things like that. Just a little envelope. This one I just kind of did like a little tinsel picture frame. Another tag. Tree page. I put this mesh netting and then this tag lifts up and then there's my little mummy that I did. It's hard to get in there. And I just put a gem right there. This page is just a candy page. Then I just added this little clip here and um, page for underneath just for pictures. Another little tag with the cats. Just a ghost page. It says Fright and just a little spooky tag. Another little spooky tag with a journaling spot on the back. Another pumpkin page. Simple page. A couple other simple ones. This one's cute. This tag comes out as well. Photo mat. And then there. I gotta do the back page and I'm gonna start with the cover. And I guess I'll be okay, back. So I'm just putting this felt. I'm going to have to lint roll it. But I'm just putting this felt paper um, halfway on the bind. And I put a keychain holder ring um, for my charms and everything. Then I'll cut a hole in it and pull it through um, once this is um, hot glued down. And I'll show you um, what it looks like afterwards. Okay, here's what it looks like after I cut and trimmed the felt down. Solid in the back. And I'm going to have to glue that piece down it didn't stick and then I'm going to do something with this front there's my keychain hanging out and I have a bunch of ribbon and yarn and fibers I'm going to hang off there sorry my dog was barking and I'll show you what it looks like when so I finish. I'm going to take this um, flower that I got a whole bunch of them actually at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to pick it apart and I'm going to use it and probably use one of those little pom-pom things so Okay, for the binding of my book, I took an old necklace and an old earring. And now I'm taking this bracelet that I had got. I can't remember where, but they just have little skulls on them. So I'm going to take that apart and I'm going to attach those as well on here.